Ay, 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 ay. Devorosa. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. What a great privilege. What a great honor and joy to be able to be at this year's tram convention. I want to take the time to celebrate our presiding bishop and our dear mom. I want to thank God for them, for the grace of God on their life, for their tenacity, for their commitment, their vision, for their being so faithful. We can rely on them. We can depend on them. I've known them for about 36, 37 years, and their path have shined from glory to glory, and their testimony has been strong in the land. Stand on your feet, put your hands together, and let's celebrate. Come on, bless the Lord for them. Give God a praise. Somebody bless the Lord. <laughs> we bless God for you, sir. We bless God for you, our mama. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for not being battle weary, but rather your path have shined from, John, from level to level. And I declare and decree that you are still going from glory to glory. I said you are going from glory to glory. We celebrate them. We thank God that in Nigeria, we have spiritual parents we can look around. And we know when the going gets tough, there are people we can look at and see they have a testimony. Put your hands together one more time. Come on, bless the Lord for that. Our bishop was at the International Gathering of Champions this year to come and bless the whole world through IGOC. I tell you, the word was so powerful. Lives were so transformed. He brought a message that was so, it was simple but so profound that many people were saying, why haven't we had him in IGOC all this while? And I want you to know, from now on, he cannot resign. He has to be there. He has to be there. Come on, put your hands together and celebrate him. One more time, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come this evening, I believe the Lord to minister to someone in this hall. Looking at the theme of the convention, rest. Four letters, rest. Not many words, rest. We could say all kinds of things, but that one is the summary of everything. Rest. And then you begin to wonder. Nigeria is in recession. Bishop says, rest. Four days ago, federal government announces that famine is coming. Bishop says, rest. Dollar to Naira changes from 250 to 450. Bishop says, rest. Pound goes from 250 to 550, 600. Bishop says, rest. Talk three people, tell them rest, 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 rest. Bishop knows something that the nation does not know. Bishop knows that it is in recession that God's power is manifested. So tell your neighbor to rest. He was in recession that Abraham manifested blessing. He was in recession that Isaac manifested uncommon favor until the Philistines envied him. Somebody shout rest. If there was no recession, we would not know Joseph. was in the middle of the recession that Joseph's own glory manifested. Somebody's time has come. Someone's season has come. I said your day has come. 
So whatever you're hearing out there, whatever the nation is announcing, because people of the kingdom need to come to a realization that the people who rule over us are after the flesh. Our bishop is a man of the spirit. He sees into the spirit realm. He knows the end of a matter before the beginning of it. And so he tells us how it will end. You will not lose your mind for Nigeria. You will not have a attack for Nigeria. You will not die before your breakthrough comes. Your favor will not be carried away. In the middle of the battle of the nation, you will have the blessing of your household. When others are saying there is nothing, you will say there is surplus. When they look around and say things are difficult, you will say things are working out. If you are the one I'm talking to, shout rest. Put your hands together, give God a praise. Give him the praise. Somebody bless his name. Tonight, I came to just tell you something that is, since Bishop have said rest, I came to announce to you that you are too loaded to fail. Tell your neighbor, I'm too loaded to fail. Say it like you mean it, I'm too loaded to fail. Ah, recession cannot make you fail. Government getting it wrong cannot make you fail. The family you come from cannot make you fail. You are too loaded. Too loaded to fail. <laughs> too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Second Peter chapter 1. Verse 1 to 4. Second Peter chapter 1. Verse 1 to 4. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ. To those who through the righteousness of our God, our Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. Through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, his divine power. In spite of the situation of Nigeria, his divine power has given us everything we will ever need, past, present, and future, for life and godliness. Through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through this, he has given us his very great Ayanamosa and precious promises. So that through them, not the promises of politicians, you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. I came all the way from London to announce to somebody today that you are too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. When you look at Nigeria from a human perspective, there is trouble in the land. But when you look with the eye of God, you should rest because you are too loaded to fail. Somebody say, I'm loaded. Say it like you mean it, I'm loaded. The absence of money in your pocket does not mean you are not loaded. Money, as Nigerians call it, this, you know, in fact, they've deceived us to make us think that this paper is money. This is not money. This is currency. Real money is the wealth you carry inside you. And because it is currency, you can have high current, low current, or no current. But tonight, I came to let you know, money or no money, you are too loaded. I said you are too loaded to fail. I like you to prophesy and say, I'm loaded. Too loaded to fail. To be loaded is to be full. You are already full of the grace of God. To be loaded is to be opulent. You are opulent with the blessing of the Lord. To be loaded is to be upper class. 
in the sight of God, you're already chosen to be upper class. To be loaded is to be prosperous. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. To be loaded is to be well to do. Somebody here today, irrespective of the family you came from, how small it is, irrespective of where you came from tonight. I came to prophesy to you that Nigeria cannot determine your destiny. You are already loaded. Somebody say, I'm loaded. Too loaded to fail. When we say a man is loaded, we are saying he's carrying the blessing of the Lord. He's loaded with the favor of the Lord. This means in effect that you are full to the top. You are not empty. I came to let you should rest. Rest! Because you are already loaded. You are already loaded. Nigeria will hear from you. And the Elamosa, Nigeria will hear from you. Creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The word manifestation is from the Greek word apocalypsis, which also is the word for revelation. So manifestation means removing the cover to expose what has been hidden. Somebody here, they've been hiding you, but God will bring you out. They're hiding your talent, but it shall come out. They're hiding your ability, it shall come out. They're hiding your favor, it shall come out. Somebody scream, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. When you carry the blessing of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord will make you to run over. From this season, from this convention, there'll be running over favor in your life. When you carry the blessing of the Lord, it will mean that you are over full. From this day, may you be over full with favor. When you carry the blessing of the Lord, it means that you are packed. You are stuffed with the blessing. I declare and decree. From this day, you will manifest a life that is packed with favor. Packed with testimony. Packed with glory. In the name of Jesus. Every area of your life will be crowded with the grace of God. Crowded with the favor of the Lord. Your life will be awash with the grace of God. Where others fail, you will succeed. Where your father could not make it, you will make it. I said, where your mother could not make it, you will make it. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. From this day, you will abound in the blessing of the Lord. You will abound in his grace. You will abound in his favor. You will abound in testimony. Too loaded to fail. Every blessing of the Lord will be chock a block in your life. In every area of your life, you shall be competent. If you start business from today, I declare and decree it shall not fail. Recession will not destroy it. If you run ministry where others fail, you will succeed. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. I declare today that God's provision will be extravagant in your life. I declare and decree you will be blessed and loaded beyond measure. Every area of your life will be saturated with the goodness of God. The supply of God in your life will be in volumes, in volumes, in volumes, in volumes. Shout, I receive it three times. I'm talking to someone here tonight. Amos chapter 9 verse 13. In the middle of the recession of Nigeria, harvest will meet harvest in your life. Harvest will meet another harvest, and 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 another harvest. If you believe it, say, I receive it. Say louder, I receive it. I declare and decree. Let them put that Amos chapter 9 verse 30 on the screen. While one person is planting, the plowman is still clearing the ground for new planting. And the plowman will overtake the people reaping last year's harvest. The people reaping last year's harvest, go back to verse 13, will, will, will come and they will overtake the trader of grape. The trader of grape will say, oh, I have not finished now. 
And even where we are going to press the wine out of it, they are not ready for us. Harvest will meet harvest in your life. Favor will meet favor in your life. Grace will meet grace in your life. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Listen. Don't say what you see Nigerians say. Don't do what you see Nigerians do. Speak the word of God. Declare the word of God. Irrespective of what your eyes see, you are loaded. Irrespective of what the nation says, you are loaded. I came to announce to somebody here, you are so loaded that you are, you are, you are carrying a great weight of the blessing of the Lord. Somebody say, I'm receiving it. You are so top heavy that the blessing of the Lord will manifest. I declare that somebody here tonight, you are pregnant and you are overweight with the goodness of the Lord. I said you are pregnant and you are overweight with the goodness of the Lord. Oh, there is a woman here. You are suffering from a massive obesity of the blessing of God. Somebody here is suffering from a massive obesity of the blessing of the Lord. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. From this day, the blessing of God will be jam-packed in your life. It will overflow in your life. You will be overloaded. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. The grace of God will be packed like sardine in your life. Packed like sardine in your life. I'd like you to say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. From this day, I declare and decree something extraordinary will break forth inside you. Something unusual, something divine will manifest for you. Something exclusive will visit your house. Something beyond explanation that is a breakthrough will visit your house. Something beyond human comprehension will visit your house. Something no one can explain, favor no one can explain is coming to your house. Something incredible, a blessing incredible will visit your house. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. I like someone here to know you are not an abandoned project. You are a finished project. You are awaiting manifestation. And it's not going to be long. Who don't know you go know you. Who no see you go see you. Who no hear you go hear you. In fact, look at your neighbor, tell them, shake my hand while you have opportunity, oh, because after today, anything can happen. Hallelujah. It won't be long. 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 You've been trusting God for marriage. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for a turnaround. It won't be long. You've been trusting God to give a testimony. It won't be long. You've been trusting God to give God a breakthrough praise. It won't be long. You've been trusting God to dance in his house for what he has done. It won't be long. Tell your neighbor, it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. Somebody put your hands together. Give God praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. You've been trusting God for abundance. It won't be long. You've been trusting God to complete the project your hands started. It won't be long. I want you to know I'm prophesying right now. You've been trusting God for a barrier-breaking breakthrough. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for good results to follow you. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for you to confront and conquer the enemy. It won't be long. 
You'll be trusting God to come to church for celebration. It won't be long. You'll be trusting God to connect you to help us. It won't be long. You'll be trusting God for a turnaround. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for an increase of anointing. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for unusual help. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for unusual expansion in your business and marriage, in your work and your ministry. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for mercy, 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 mercy. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for joy and gladness. It won't be long. Young men and women in the house, you've been trusting God for divine ideas. It won't be long. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for success. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for a divine announcement. For your name to be announced in high places. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for a divine visitation. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for a divine selection. In a crowd of many people, you shall be selected. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for a divine advertisement. God himself to advertise you. For the world to know about you. I'd like you to shout, it won't be long. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for divine recognition. Your gifting had been hiding, and you want God to bring you out for the world to know about you. I prophesy on somebody here today, it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for a higher level than where you've always been. It won't be long. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for the fulfillment of your dreams. You've been carrying the dreams all over the place. It won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for upward movement to go to a higher level. It won't be long. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for major advancement. Past where you have been for five years. From tonight, you are moving forward. You've been trusting God to break new grounds. You've been on the same spot for too long. I prophesy it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. You've been trusting God for prosperity beyond imagination. I came all the way from London to let you know it won't be long. It won't be long. You've been trusting God to break forth beyond the place your father reached, beyond the place your mother reached. From tonight, I declare it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. I like you to know that this word is not ordinary word. The devil likes it or not, your vision will not be long when it will become reality. Your favor will manifest. Your testimony will manifest. Your breakthrough will manifest. In the name of Jesus, your barrier breaking breakthrough will come. Your favor will show. Your reward will show. Your lifting will show. Your settlement will show. Your promotion will show. Your success will show. Your harvest will show. Tell two people, it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. Put your hands together. Give God the highest praise tonight. They're too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. Co don't compare yourself to anybody. You are too loaded to fail. Don't
don't see yourself compared to somebody from the north, east, west, south. You are too loaded to fail. God is not finished with you yet. You are too loaded to fail. You are created for impact. You are too loaded to fail. Why will you not fail? You are loaded with the promises of God. You carry the promise of God. The promise of his healing. The promise of his deliverance. The promise of his favor. Ah, and the one who made a promise, who said, mm, look, mm, I swear. Because the Bible says God swore. He said, I swear, I will not disappoint you. I'm not a man that I should lie. Not the son of man that I should repent. I stand on this altar tonight. I declare into your life. The promises you've been holding to shall manifest in your life. Shall manifest in your life. Shall manifest in your life. Tell your neighbor, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. From this day, every word God gave you shall become reality. It shall become your testimony. I said your eyes will see it. Your mouth will testify. The promises will become your reality. Put your hands together. Give God the highest praise. Too loaded. You are loaded with the peace of God. You are loaded with the peace of God. Whatever happens in Nigeria, peace will be in your house. Peace will be in your marriage. Peace will be in your ministry. Peace will be around you. May you be loaded with peace. If somebody is losing their mind, not in your own house. If people are getting a heart attack, not you. I declare anyone with high blood pressure here, God is bringing it down. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. I cannot give guarantee to anyone who is outside Christ. But because you are in Christ, and you are in a house that has a word like this, it's impossible for you to fail. I said, you will not fail. The peace of God will garrison you. The peace of God will uphold you. I said the peace of God will uphold you. You are too loaded. You are loaded with the joy of the Lord. Joy will follow you. Joy will manifest for you. That's why when others are troubled, Bishop says to rest. Because joy will be in your house. When others cannot see a reason to rejoice, there will always be reason in your house. You will go out with joy. You'll be led forth with peace. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. You are loaded with abundance and prosperity. Job 36, 11. Isaiah 1, 19. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians 8, 9. 2 Corinthians 9, 8. Haggai chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. How can you fail when God says you will prosper? And God is not a man that he should lie. I stand on this altar tonight. I speak to your life. In the area of finance, I prophesy you will not fail. Every financial trouble will turn around. I command it to turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands together. Give God a praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. You are too low. You are loaded with protection and guidance. If a thousand fall by your left and ten thousand by your right, it shall not touch you. I prophesy unto the people of this house tonight if you fly, you will arrive. If you travel by road, you will get there. From this day, the protection of the Lord will be around your life. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. You are loaded with power and authority. Senator or no senator. Presidents or no president. 
Anyone who is not in Christ does not carry what you carry. Ask your neighbor what thing you carry. Tonight I want you to know you are loaded with the authority of Christ. I anoint your lips from tonight. When you bind, it shall be bound. When you lose, it shall be loose. When you declare, it shall become reality. Say amen three times. The book of Luke, the book of Luke chapter 4 says that when Jesus spoke, he spoke with power, authority, and weight. Power, authority, and weight. Many people bind, they cast out, they pray, nothing happens because there's no weight in their word. If I take this envelope and drop it, you will not hear any sound because it has no weight. From tonight, I anoint your lips. May your words carry weight. In the realm of the spirit, may they carry weight. When you bind the demonic, may your word carry weight. When you prophesy favor, may your words carry weight. When you speak into a situation, may your word carry weight. I'd like you to say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. You are loaded with the favor of God. Thou shalt arise and have mercy on Zion. The time to favor her. Yea, the set time has come. The Bible says this is the year of the Lord's favor. What is favor? When God gives you something you don't qualify for. Wages are what you work for. Favor is what you do not qualify for. Wages, they give you when you have worked. Favor, they give you when you have not done anything. I stand on this altar tonight. The house you don't deserve. The houses you do not deserve. The lands you do not deserve. The breakthrough you do not deserve. The blessing you do not deserve. It is coming to your life. It is coming to your life. It is coming to your life. Pastors. The ministry level you do not qualify for. Which your prayer cannot achieve. Your fasting cannot make happen. That kind of ministry level. That people will look at you. And look at the work. And look at you. And look at the work. And say how did it happen? Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receiving the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I'm loaded with favor. I don't know about you. I've reached a point in my life. I don't buy things if people don't show me favor. If I won't buy a house, if they sell them 5,000, they must sell it 4,500 to me. If you don't show me favor, then you don't deserve my blessing. I walk away. That's where I've reached in my life. I want to see favor from people from this day, from this day, from this day, in every area of your life, favor will follow you, favor will follow you, favor will follow you, favor will follow you. Somebody say, I'm too loaded, too loaded to fail. When we didn't know our kingdom right, we were afraid to fall. We would say, oh, keep me through, Lord Jesus, keep me through. Oh. Jiggy them, oh, yeah, why Jesus, jiggy them. Asagi kem gaba, megi kem genye, wow. Yem ike, oh, ike, kam garida. We were afraid to fall. We were afraid to fall. This is not being braggadocious now. But I'm too loaded to fail. Tell your neighbor, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Look 
Catch your neighbor. Say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. I declare that you will not fail. You will not fall. You will not falter. You will not fail. You will not fall. You will not falter. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. And you are loaded with the health of God. I don't know about you, I'm loaded with the health of God. Been born again 44 years. Been in ministry 42 years. I've only slept in the hospital three days. And those three days was when I was born. Because when I was 20 years old, 44 years ago, I heard an old, old story how the Savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. And then I cried, Lord Jesus, come and heal my broken spirit. Somehow Jesus came to me and wrought the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior, forever. He loved me and washed me with his redeeming blood. He loved me here. I knew him and all my love is to him. He saved me with victory beneath the glancing flood. Somebody give God praise to that God. Too loaded, too loaded to fail. By in your health, you will not fail. The Lord showed me that somebody has migraine here. From tonight, migraine will leave you. I said migraine will leave you. The Lord showed me somebody is having breathing problem. Nasal problem. I command your healing right now. I command your healing. I command your healing. The Lord showed me somebody has too much arthritic pain. From today, pain leaves your body. 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 The Lord showed me that somebody here has a problem with their kidney. You've been having to go to a dialysis all the time. I lay hands on you today and we speak live into you. We command your healing. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. The Lord showed me that somebody's here. You have problem with childbirth. You've been trusting God for the fruits of the womb. Manika zili robota. Relush kaina bruda likazi. When you come to the next convention, as the Lord lives, as the Lord lives, as the Lord lives, you are coming with your babies. You are coming with your baby. 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 Tell your neighbor, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. You got to take this message serious. The number one lie of Satan is that you are empty. That's why he told Adam and Eve. And there's a fruit here. You want chop? After he got the first Adam to fall because of food, he comes to the last Adam again. Who is the last Adam? He said, there's bread here. You want chop? As if not chop chop, they worry us. First Adam, there's fruit here. You want chop? Last Adam, there's bread here. You want chop? First Adam fell. 
Last Adam knew who he is. Do you know who you are? So you need to say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded to fail. Satan is always showing people what they don't have. Say, Adam, you see? God no like you. You know what make you eat this fruit? And then he came to Jesus also. God no like you. You know what make you have this bread? And have this power? What you already have? Should somebody entice you with it? That's why you should scream, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. you are loaded. Nayenu Sari Braniguzi. Nigeria will hear from you. The world will hear from you. Nigeria will hear from you. The world will hear from you. You want to know how loaded you are? You are as loaded as the earth. Everything God created, he hid it inside the earth. The only thing that only come from the earth is the breath in man. The cloth on your body was hidden in the earth. The shoe on your leg was hidden in the earth. The watch on your wrist was hidden in the earth. The ring on your finger hidden in the earth. The microphone with me was hidden in the earth. Your nice Louis Vuitton bag was hidden in the earth. Your beautiful eyeglasses hidden in the earth. So if God hides all these beautiful things in the earth and he made you to be above the earth, somebody say, I'm loaded. to fail when we don't know who we are even our song shows beggars Rami Lawa Allah Rumi Rami Lawa Rami Lawa Mugwe Kelly Baba La Macao Onye Wanyi Baba La Maca Baba La Maca Anom Nerugi Anom Nerugi We pray like beggars. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Please, I'm not giving you a slang. I'm giving you a prophetic word. When your boss does an assessment and he says you are not good enough, walk away from the paper and say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. The university gave you D's and C's. That is the assessment based on the course they wrote. That is not who you are. Who are you? Too loaded to fail. Tell your neighbor, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded, too loaded to fail. Put your hands together. Give God the highest praise. Give Him the praise. Yeah. One of the reasons why you are too loaded to fail is that you are also loaded with the life of God. 
I am come that they might have Zoe. And that they might have Zoe. What is Zoe? The very embodiment of all that God is. For you to fail, God will have to fail. Since God cannot fail, then you should not fail. I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Too loaded. Too loaded to fail. Let me close this message by prophesying on you tonight. Because you are too loaded to fail, you will not remain down. You will rise in the wings of faith. You will not wallow in self-pity. You will rise above self-pity. They are trying to stop you, but you will be unstoppable. They are trying to kill you, but you will not die. From today, you will have a winning attitude. You will be a champion. <laughs> Rising above situations. Rising above battles. Every issue that came to this convention with you will not go home with you. Every battle that came to this convention with you will not go home with you. From tonight, you will succeed. You are not a failure. You will be a testimony. God will empower you to prosper. God will strengthen your hand to be victorious. The word you receive during this conference will move you from the back and put you in front. Your location will change. Your level will change. Your story will change. Then you will go on, you will bless your generation. You see, the reason you are too loaded to fail is not for you. It's so that you can go bless somebody. Can you imagine a Nigeria without Bishop Mike and Bishop Peace Okonkwo? It's impossible. They are so loaded. They did not just bless Trem. They've blessed the Pentecostal Fellowship. They did not just bless the Pentecostal Fellowship. They've blessed the body of Christ. I left Worry this afternoon and there's a big signboard as you are leaving Worry. The signboard of Mama Peace's conference on prayer. Too loaded. They are not living for, your, for themselves. They are loaded to bless. Somebody say, I'm too loaded. Too loaded to fail. From today, everything you carry will bless your generation. Your life will bless your generation. Your ministry will bless your generation. Your work will bless your generation. They want you to be the tail. God has made you head, you will remain the head. You will remain the head. They want you to be beneath. God made you to be above, you will remain above. They want you to be borrowing. God wants you to be lending, you will be a lender. 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 They want you to fail, but God wants you to be a champion. You will be a champion. From tonight, your hands are blessed. Your hands are blessed. Everything you taught from tonight, something will change. Favor will follow you. Glory will follow you. Blessing will follow you. Say amen three times. Put those hands together. Give God a praise. Give him the praise. 